Greetings! Today I will show you something special. Something you might have not heard at all. Even some Poles haven't heard of it, cause it is specific to one city, Wrocław. I'm talking about street food called Knysza. Knysza comes in many variations, but original one is vegetarian. It is a carved pizza pie filled with veggies and incredibly spicy sauce, usually garlic sauce. Its origin is unknown, but quite recent, cause first Knysza stands started appearing near the 90s and dominated Wrocław's main railway station. Nowadays Knysza is in a bit of decline, mostly due to dominance of Turkish kebabs, but I hope it will see a brighter day in the future. Maybe you will make a Knysha stand in a faraway land of insert your country name here. But first, let me tell you how to make it. To make buns, you will need flour, water, oil, yeast, salt and sugar. Those buns are made like a pizza pie. Just make a leaven with yeast, water and sugar. Then mix with flour, salt and oil to get unified mass. Bake in best temperature for your oven. I start at 220 degrees Celsius and go down till 180 within 10 to 15 minutes. It gives perfectly baked interior with just a little bit of crust outside. Sauce is the tricky and spicy part. It is essential for Knisha to be good. Therefore, Grab the tastiest ingredients you have for a base, whether it's mayo or sour cream. I use them both in proportions 1 to 1. Also some mustard. One tablespoon should be enough. Get some garlic. Actually, take a lot of garlic. Or even more. You can also get an onion. Fresh onion will certainly give some kick to the mix. Also salt, sugar and black pepper for taste. Get some fresh vegetables. Shred them so that they are easy to chew once they land inside the bun. Best vegetables? The freshest that you can get. In Poland it usually means any of the following. Cabbage and red cabbage for cola, corn, fried onions, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes or champignons, but it is also not a problem if you want to use some bell peppers, red beans and if you are into some Asian stuff get some sesame or shiitake mushrooms. They simply have to be non-dominant tastes, so that you are swimming in garlic sauce ocean of tranquility instead of fighting a war between garlic and pickled cucumber. Now that you have everything ready, prepare the knisha itself. Grab a sharp knife and cut those buns in the middle, and then on the inside. Most merchants have them already prepared and sometimes they scoop up some of the breadcrumbs to increase the space for vegetables. Now fill the interior with sauce. Spread it all over there so that breadcrumbs suck on the sauce. Now insert vegetables. You can layer them like I did. Adding sauce in between layers also enhances the flavor. Once you are done, grab a fork and eat them. And when you have eaten all the veggies, you can scrap that fork and eat the container it will be delicious and make your belly full. Thank you all for watching. If you are more into classic stuff, I'll be doing them until I eventually run out of recipes to make, so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. 
Happy Cooking!